welcome back guys so now let's see the third question it's basically we have to design a data structures which supports the following operations like we can lock when a particular node is not already locked and then we can lock it for a given user and unlock we can only unlock when the given user tries to un when the user who has logged it tries to unlock it otherwise we cannot unlock it okay and also the lock should exist then only we can unlock it and there is one more feature which is upgrade from this what we can do is uh, we can lock the current node which would be given to us and uh, unlock all its descendants and when we would do this when all the three conditions given should be satisfied like the like it should its ancestor should not have any logged nodes logged logged nodes and at least one logged descendant should be there and the no, the current node on which we are we are applying upgrade option should be unlocked okay so this is how we have to implement this data structure on like implement this tree okay so certain operations would be given to us and we have to return like whether true false something like that so if lock is successful true we have to return if unlock is successful we have to return true if upgrade is successful we have to return true otherwise we have to return false so yeah this was the question now uh, let's see how i approach the problem like it's basically implementation based so i will directly explain through the code so yeah what i did i made a vector for parent like here also the parent was given as input so i made a global like global vector so why i made this so that i can access it in other functions as well so and also i made the n size of that array and also i have made a map mp mp1 which i have used mp i haven't used so i am deleting it so yeah uh, now let's see for lock and for unlock because they are easy so like i would show them to you like in lock whether it was all if or and also yeah when i init when the locking tree function was called like when the constructor was called what basically i did was like i initialized the, the global vector which was there not global we can say like which is available to all the functions of this class and uh, i also initialized the size of that vector uh, n equal to parent dot size and similarly i cleared all the, like i also constructed adjacency matrix which i cleared and also i like mp1 what mp1 is storing is like whether the current node is locked or not so mp1 of 0 denotes that the lo that the lock that the node is not locked okay then what i did was i inserted the i completed my adjoint matrix okay like adjoint of parent of i who is the parent of i uh, that should go to i like that i is the child of that parent so yeah this is how we insert this is how i made the adjacency matrix and uh, now let's see about the lock function if already it is not locked mp of 1 is not equal to 0 then if it's already locked sorry i will repeat if already it's locked then what would be our state mp of num mp1 of num would not be 0 so then i would return simply false because the lock is the like, that lock which the user is trying to lock like the the node that the user is trying to lock is already locked so we cannot lock it so i will return false otherwise i would give that node the username the the lock of this user okay similarly for unlock if the lock is not of the given user who is trying to unlock then i would return false otherwise i would unlock the lock unlock the node sorry i would unlock the node then i will return true okay see that when i have, i have returned true so okay now let's see the upgrade function okay so like int value equal to like which which uh, like i have, what i have done here is in while loop i have checked whether any of its uh, any of its ancestor contains uh, any lock or not they should not contain any lock so i am checking that condition i am checking it i am going to the parent of each and every like i am traversing up the tree like what i am doing is i am first checking this then i am checking the parent of this then i am checking the parent of this then i am checking the parent of this this is how i am moving 
see you can see like while num is not equal to minus one which means parent of zero is minus one so that's why i am moving in such a way because when parent of like when zero comes then no other ancestor is above it so that's why we would end the while loop so here i am checking that whether is there any lock or not in the ancestors if there is a lock then i would return false so if if we come here which means there is no lock up till now so one condition we have checked and also i have run a dfs which which condition i checked through this is like uh, whether its descendant any of its descendants contain at least one lock so for that i have run a dfs and what i have done is like i have gone to each and every child and checked whether whether that child has a lock or not if yes then i would return true and then i would true take the or of all such childs and if the answer is true then we would if any one of the node contains one like if any one of the node contains lock then it would return true so this is how i have implemented the dfs function okay so and if answer is for like no none of its descendants contain a lock then i would return simply false because the three conditions should be satisfied and if we come here which means all the conditions satisfy so now what i have to do i have to set that a uh, lock to the current user and also i have to unlock all its descendants lock so what i will do is i would unlock them by another dfs like dfs1 and i will simply unlock all of them so yeah if and i will i have returned true so the, yeah this is how i implemented this whole question so yeah thank you very much guys